Hello and welcome to New Start Now. I'm your host, Don McIntosh, and today we're glad that Dr. Michael Orlich is with us today. Welcome, Dr. Orlich. Good to be with you, Don. Now, you're a specialist in family practice, but also you're doing a board in preventive medicine. You worked for a time here at the New Start program as well. That's right. Four years here at New Start Lifestyle program. And we have an acronym here, New Start, which can you know, a guest came up with that, I guess. And uh, one of those uh, parts of that acronym is W, water. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about water today. Uh, do we get enough water? Well, uh, some people do and some people don't, but there are a lot of people who don't get enough water, and water is one of those simple things that we take for granted, like air, but it's very important for our health. Does our body tell us when we need water, or do we have to tell our body that we need water? Well, it's very fortunate that our body does have a lot of mechanisms from, uh, for keeping us from getting dehydrated. Um, we, we hang on to more water through our kidneys when we're not getting enough, and we also have the thirst mechanism that keeps us from getting too dehydrated. But remember, these are alarms of your body saying that you're getting a bit dehydrated. So it's better to, to stay ahead of the game and get plenty of water. Remember that probably 70% of your body is made up of water. All of the various chemical reactions that take place in your body that allow you to be alive are water-based reactions. And so having enough water, staying well hydrated, is a very important principle for health. And you were telling me uh, before we did this segment that there's some new research that's also showing some benefits for being well hydrated. Well, that's true. There are a number of benefits of getting enough water. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the most obvious ones actually have to do with the urinary system and the bladder. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to avoid urinary tract infections, it's okay. good to drink plenty of water. If you want to avoid kidney stones, it's important to drink a lot of water. If you keep the urine dilute, the stones don't have as much of an ability to form. Mm -hmm. And bladder cancer is clearly reduced with increased water intake. But what I was telling you about is findings from the Adventist Health Study, which is a major epidemiologic cohort study funded by the National Institutes of Health and done out of Loma Linda University. And they published interesting results that had to do with people on their questionnaire checking whether they drank more than five glasses of water a day between two and five or less than two glasses of water a day. And a very, very interesting finding is that those people who drank more than five glasses of water a day had a significant reduction in their risk of coronary heart disease compared to those people who drank less than two glasses of water a day. So it seems that something as simple as drinking enough water may lead to a reduced risk of one of the biggest killers in America. Wow, I'm feeling thirsty already. But is all water equal? I mean, you know, bottled water, tap water, where should I get my water? Well, um, some people ask about other beverages, you know, okay. like say pop and Kool-Aid and coffee and that sort of thing. And fortunately, all of these things can help you keep from becoming completely dehydrated because they're all mostly made out of water. But it's far better to drink pure water. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest and simplest reasons is you don't need a lot of the other things that's added. And one of the biggest things is calories. Mm -hmm. You don't want to drink your calories because this can bring on so many extra calories and lead to weight gain. But water itself, of course, we can get it in many forms. Mm -hmm. And around the world, many people die from contaminated water. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, here in the United States, most city water, municipal water is safe. Uh, and free of major pollutants. And so mm -hmm. most people can do well with drink, just drinking tap water and drinking enough of it. Um, bottled waters have been looked at and in general, they're about the same as, uh, as your average tap water. So there's no real advantage to bottled water, distilled water, or that type of thing. Six to eight glasses a day? Six to eight glasses is certainly a good rule of thumb. All right. It varies if you're in a hot environment, if you're exercising mm -hmm. a lot, you'll need more. But uh, six to eight glasses a day is good for most people in most times. Well, I think we're going to have a drink right after this segment, <laughs> of water that is. And we're glad that you joined us, uh, Dr. Mike. We're glad you're here with us. And we're glad that you joined us as well. We hope that you can visit our website, newstart.com, get more information about this or other subjects. 
And then as a result of today's program, you have a new start that begins right now.